Okay, it's Monday morning. Last night, I suddenly decided I was going to go on a little road trip today. One of the reasons is that all the nice days when I could have gone and done this trip, my back's been out or it's a day when I have to be somewhere else. Just really annoying. And then all the days where I was available, it's been raining like crazy. And then I decided yesterday, I looked at the weather, there's a promise of no rain at all. And I thought, it's not going to be really hot, which is fine. But it's not going to be that cold. It's about 15. It's not very windy. And I'm going away from where I am now. <laughs> and so I've packed up my bag with my water and my maps and stuff. And I stepped out the door and it started to rain. However, I'm hoping that where I'm going, which is very much a different area and may well have completely different weather. The map that I'm looking for for the weather is the place where I'm going, not where I am now. And this rain is very fine. It's like that really fine misty rain. Why is there an ant on my windscreen on the inside? Let's get rid of you. Come on. Where on earth did you come from? Anyway, so I'm taking you on this little road trip. We are going into Yorkshire. This is not going to be like an overnight trip. This is just a nice, easy, uh, back mid-afternoon kind of thing. And I've set off, when is it now? It's quarter past nine in the morning. Um, we're just going out for a walk and explore somewhere. There's one thing I'm curious to look at and then the rest of the time we're just going to wander and that will be weather dependent. So I thought I'd take you along for the ride. So I'm just getting my map up. Let's get some directions. It's not a long journey, but it takes a bit of time because we're off like on lanes and we're going up through the hills. There's going to be some fantastic scenery. Okie koki. Let's get on the road. We have some road closures, so I need to pick up roads in funny places. So I need to definitely need to focus on the sat nav rather than everything else. Oh, look at this weather. Clean that screen. Mm, we might get a bit wet today. What does the weather say now then? Look. 4% chance of rain. Am I going to get the 4%? That's the question. We should be alright. We should be alright. Okay, I'm going to stop waffling and actually get on the road. See where we end up. We should be alright for parking because we're going out into like a village. And there don't appear to be any parking restrictions. It's not a heavily touristy area. This one thing is maybe a little bit of a tourist spot, but it doesn't, I wouldn't imagine it's attracting a huge number of people. So that is good. Right, which way are we going? You want me to go this way, do you? Okay, we'll go this way then. You know what you're doing. plan my trips better in advance. I mean this one's been planned for a long time and not executed so I kind of know what I'm doing <laughs> I think. Who knows. But we are going to enter beautiful countryside so I'm going to put you onto the other view in a bit so you can see where we're going. The weather's not too bad. I'm going to take you to a stopping point 
where the view is magnificent. I love a road trip. Such fun. I like going new places. This is what I must do. Every every week I need to take a day off and I need to do something. Either it's just going walking out and walking down at the local nature reserve. But particularly at this time of year when you're likely to get better weather, it would be better to be doing things like this. Where I'm actually getting out, like properly out. That detour was a waste of time. I should have taken the straight route. Never mind. So this is a stop off point that I thought I would show you. It's all a bit depressing here. <laughs> the weather's not looking great, but I am going to show you the scenery.
don't know if you can hear that bird. That's a curlew. I live up here on the moors. This, I think, is Holm Moor Summit. I can hear meadow pipits, cars. Skylarks, sparrows around doing their thing. Let me look at that for a view. The cloud is very low, um, but we're here. So we'll get on. Let's head on to our next stop. Another quick stop off. I wasn't going to stop here and I forgot this was even here. I'm just going to show you this view which is um, the valley that I'm going to come down into. So let's go and have a look. Ooh. I don't know if you could hear on that little pan across the valley there, but I just heard a cuckoo. <laughs> oh, that makes my day. Even on a blustery day like today. The silence here is spectacular. Absolutely beautiful up here. I'd love to live out here in the little nowhere. Right, let's get back on the road again. <laughs> Thank you. 
unexpectedly tight. And we're here. So I don't know if any of you know this area, but if you do, any keen observers might have worked out why I'm here. So this is a place called Upper Thong, which is next to a place called Homefirth. We are up in West Yorkshire and Homefirth for those of you that know or and I'm going to tell those of you that don't is where they filmed an iconic comedy of the very late 60s that's when it started um, 70s 80s it ran for 30 years basically and it was an institution and it was called last of the summer wine and they're still showing it now they've just been doing a complete rerun from the very first episode and it's still going now and it was all filmed up and around here um, if you go into home firth itself you'll see that there are shops named after it um, you can go and see where certain bits were filmed where characters lived because they used the fronts of people's houses and they basically took off took over home Firth for a long time and it's become a bit of a pilgrimage for some people and out here where i am in upper thong which is just outside i can walk and i'll be in home Firth in a moment and there is a church up here called st john's and some of the actors who appeared in this series are buried here. We have Bill Owen, who played Compo. Peter Salis, who is Cleggy, he's buried here. And then Bill Owen's son, Tom, I believe. I'll know that when I get in there. Um, who stepped in after Bill Owen died and came in as his long lost son or something and is the spitting image of him or was at least he he died I think in 2022 he is also buried here I think I'm pretty sure he is so I've really come here for the day just to get out the weather has changed the sun is coming out it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day and I am going to have a look at the church. I'm going to go and have a look at the, the graves. And I promised my mum I would take photos of these because she's a massive fan of this. And then we're just going to wander around and enjoy a bit of nature and a bit of countryside. So I'm going to get myself together. 
got my walking boots with me, which I'm going to... Am I going to change into them? I don't know that I need to. I think my trainers might do the job. It's very dry here. The rain hasn't reached here. I might take them in my bag, just in case, because I don't want to ruin my flashy new trainers. Yeah, we'll put those in the bag. I've got my rucksack with me today. And let's head on off and explore. This is a crazy little churchyard. The whole thing is built on a hillside. <laughs> the graves are fascinating. Up the hill we go. Look at that.
you have family buried here, this is a fascinating little place. Well worth a visit if you can get here. Really interesting. Unfortunately, of all the days I picked to be here, the gardener's in. So, I'm not comfortable still walking around talking to my phone. So, um, yeah, I'm being a bit cautious about where I go and what have you. It feels a bit embarrassing walking around with my phone. Of course, you've got the sound of the lawnmower continuously in the background, but the uh, the view here is just incredible. We're right in a dip in the valley here, so you get this fabulous view on either side. So there's the church just down the hill, and then there's the other valley up on the other side.
So that's my little pilgrimage over. It was very pretty. The church is gorgeous and the churchyard is just amazing. I love that it's all like on a hillside. It creates a really interesting kind of atmosphere to it. But it wasn't quite as serene and countryfied as I thought it was going to be. And it's very much a working village or a working town now. You know, when I was at the church, there was, the gardener was there, so he was mowing and strimming and his little dog was barking at everybody. And as I was there, there were a couple of other people who came to the yard and there was somebody else there as well. And it's, of course, it's a working churchyard, people are visiting because they have relatives buried there. And then I went for that little walk up round the back and there was somebody in the garden over the back and they were strimming and then someone came to see them and they're having a loud conversation. So it lacked that peace that I normally get from going to churchyards because a lot of the churchyards I go to are quite out the way when I'm doing like family tree research. So I was going to go and walk down into the town and I thought oh, it's just going to be a town isn't it? Um, and I've been to Home Firth before and it's all right. There's nothing dramatic to see, I would say. And so I thought I'd walk up the other way. And I thought if I walk up and out of the village, then I'm going to come to a nice, serene, quiet country lane. And there'll be a break in the, the hedgerow somewhere. And I'll be able to look, look out across that valley. And the village just kind of went on and on. And as I as I walked, the houses just became more and more modern. And they really didn't fit into the countryside, some of them. They were really like modern-esque style houses. And there was no uniform to many of them. They were all like there was this kind of house and that kind of house. It was all over the place. And as I walked, there was a, a nursery school on the right and that was really noisy. There were loads of kids in it and the lady who was running it was clearly <laughs> thoroughly enjoying herself, but very, very loud and very noisy. And then on the left there, tucked around the back somewhere, they're building some executive homes. So there was building work going on. And then as I, I walked further up, there was more building work going on and people strimming their lawns to within an inch of existence. And... <sighs> There wasn't any of that kind of beautiful ambience that I was looking for. I've just spotted to my side. You can glimpse the, uh, the valley that I was trying to find between the houses. <laughs> you can just kind of glimpse it there between the houses. And... Uh, this is what I was looking for. I was looking for somewhere where I could sit and look at it. Like very often you'll find like a bench somewhere at a viewpoint on a, on a lane somewhere. But, um, didn't find one. And I think this is also a main route for traffic. So it's, it, there's always cars coming past cars and vans and lorries and stuff. So, um, it lacks the ambience that I am used to when I go to a lot of these places. But it was very interesting. And nature was out there, you know, there were some very little, pretty little roadside flowers and bits and pieces.
I wish that churchyard had been quiet. If there hadn't been all the, the mowing and the strumming going on, that would have been an absolute picture. But hopefully it will give you an idea. And of course I found, I found the famous graves I was looking for. I was wrong about Bill Owen's son being buried there. He did die in 2022, uh, but he isn't buried there. Um, Bill Owen just happens to have three gravestones. <laughs> um... He was the first to go and he was an iconic character. I can't believe he died in 1999. That's such a long time ago. That's crazy. Really, really crazy. Anyway, so I'm going to take a different route home. Um, I'm going to go back and up out the other way. So the way I was trying to walk. And who knows, maybe I'll find a nice spot to stop on the way back. Um, but I think... We're just going to head home now. It's not even lunchtime. It's half past 11. I've only been here for about an hour and a half. But I didn't feel comfortable just sitting around in the church and there are people working around there. I'm not, I'm not very good at using my phone when other people are, you know, like talking to my phone. I'm not one of those... YouTubers who will walk around town with their phone on a long selfie stick talking loudly and being animated uh, and I know that lots of YouTubers don't like that either and are quite sort of you know I'd rather I'd rather stay quite quiet <laughs> so that's me so I felt slightly awkward um, and especially since it was pretty obvious that I was there to have a look at the graves and he's like, oh god another tourist has come to look at the last of the summer wine graves anyway so <laughs> oh dear oh dear right so we're going to take a different route home and I'm going to record that because I don't know this route home and there might be some really beautiful scenery on the way out and who knows what we might find um, where are we going just having a look at my map we are going to be heading right up into the countryside again and then we're going to come down through the north and then head south so that won't be too bad that'll be a different route hey you never know what you might see along the way and i'm going to be back in time for lunch <laughs> right let's get going and let's have a look at this scenery This was my limit in terms of walking and I stopped at this point and gave up. So I'm going to follow this wonderful downhill valley route and see where we end up. I'm sure if I'd walked far enough I would have come to some beautiful... Actually maybe not. <laughs> this looks like a big old main road I'm coming out onto. Where did the valley go? This is going to be impossible to get out of. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. And now I'm just out onto a big old main road now. So let's see where Google Maps takes us.
the only problem with driving these routes where you're exploring and all this sort of thing is that you don't really get to see it because your eyes on the road so there was some really beautiful scenery back there I went up and over part of Saddleworth Moor which is an incredibly atmospheric place I've done other routes over it before as well and I always want to sing Wuthering Heights <laughs> whenever I see it um, yeah it's uh, it's really stunning and as I was driving towards um, Mossley after that I could see places where I could potentially park and do some nice hikes so I might explore that over the summer as well when we have nice weather days and I'm available because it would be nice to explore some new areas and not always go back to the same places. Same places are lovely but it's good to explore new places as well so the, the, the beauty of the journey is now over I am in Ashton I think now Ashton underline so we are now back in big time civilization so you're better off looking at me now to be honest with you because the rest of the journey isn't going to be pretty and isn't going to be picturesque or as interesting so that's my little journey out for the day it wasn't out that long but um, that was fun finally got somewhere I wanted to go and may have discovered some new places to try over the summer which would be a good thing for definite uh, right let's get into the right lane here am I in the right lane yes I am perfect so yes yeah, so hopefully we'll have some more adventures out into the countryside over the summer if I can just stop being so lazy and of course weather dependent because I read a headline that said when summer's going to be a washout this year they always say this they're right miseries and it doesn't always happen and I'm sure there will be some beautiful days for getting out and walking and exploring and doing nature based stuff We're home. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> There's a lot of editing to do. It'll keep me busy. Oh, busy times. Catch you later.